on today? It is Sunday morning and I'm getting ready to take a load of scrap metal into Whitesman's here this morning. Free this truck up. The house that we bought down the road uh, a year ago that uh, had a pool that came with it. My father ended up uh, taking the pool out yesterday so he's going to fill that in. Uh, today it was an uh, in-ground pool. And uh, I just didn't need it. We got one of the guys working for us that lives in the house. And um, a pool is a ton of work in there. Just not worth uh, having around. Um, running the risk of somebody drowning in the damn thing. A little kid or something. So, we're going to run into Whitesman's here. Get this load of steel dumped off. I've got the... Uh, sand truck in here there's just some building materials from um the new barn and just shop street uh shop um scrap metal so there's the pool right there that they took out yesterday with that field one of the men down there now so they're gonna fill that in with um in with some dirt and get some grass growing there so We'll head on into Whitesman's and uh, we'll see what they've got going on there today. Well, we're going to be pulling into Whitesman's in a few minutes here. We're just down the road from them. Uh, they are open seven days a week. They open up at 9 o'clock on Sundays and it is just before 10 here now. So we're going to be pulling in here. They'll inspect the load. I'll tell them what I have, we'll pull across the scale, throw you guys up on the uh, up on the headache rack of the truck here, and you can watch the load slide off, it's just building materials, scrap metal from the shop, truck parts, tractor parts, all that crap, and um, the bed that, go, that, was, that had come off of the mesh sand truck. I need a purge valve on this truck, so that is annoying. It seems to never get fixed, so we're just pulling in here now. Kind of quiet, at least there isn't no freaking line today.
folks, we're only about four or five miles away from the shop. We're going to get this truck back so that they can haul some dirt with it to fill in that pool. Uh, I ended up getting $355 for this load of scrap metal, which wasn't too bad, but scrap is down considerably right now. We just wanted to get the stuff out of the door yard. Uh, and, and sometimes it, it don't even pay to the hauling sometimes when you haul a load in, but at least it gets rid of the stuff. Um, I ended up getting $205 for the first part of the load they took off, which was the, the sand bed. And while they were unloading that, a viewer from the channel came up to me and introduced himself, said he watches the channel all the time. He recognized the, recognized the truck, recognized the sand bed coming off of the truck, and then he obviously uh, recognized me as well. So I want to thank you, Nate, for uh, coming up to me while we were at Whitesman's. He was there with some uh, scrap tin and whatnot himself as well. The second part of the load, which was building materials and just regular scrap metal from truck parts and equipment parts and whatever like that, um, I got $167 for that. And then I got deducted $18 for some concrete being around the chain link fence post. So, Ended up walking away with $355. We're gonna head on back, like I said. Remember to leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a comment down below. I'll drop a card in up above here for the sand truck, the bench sand truck rebuilding. If you, if you haven't seen those videos, you can go back and uh, watch those. Uh, I had two videos out to uh, removal of the sand bed and the installation of the sand bed. Uh, you can go back and watch those. Uh, with that being said, it's going to do it, folks. So we will catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching, and have a nice day.